Hi, Dr. Pelto here. Um, a patient asked uh, a question um, for for chronic Achilles tendinosis. Um, is focal bone marrow edema near the insertion? Is it dangerous? So that's a lot of things to explain. So first of all, Achilles is the Achilles tendon that comes down. Tendinosis and tendinitis are two different things. That's the main thing I want to, first thing I want to explain. So tendinitis is a, a acute inflammation. And when it's been inflamed for a long time, over three to six months, then it becomes a tendinosis, which is an area that doesn't have the best blood supply and it tends to be slow installed to heal, okay? Uh, and then focal bone marrow edema is, is only seen on an, on an MRI. You're gonna look at the bone in the back of the heel right here and you see how it's white. That's bone marrow edema. That's swelling inside of the bone, um, usually from pulling, on this area on the back with the Achilles tendon. And so the bone actually changes, okay? This can be challenging because it's a painful Achilles tendonitis. There's bone marrow edema. It's not dangerous. It's, it, it's not really like you're gonna have a rupture, but it's, it's hard to treat. It's hard to treat uh, for our patients because these tend to be going on a long, long time. Um, so let me remind you a little bit more about the Achilles. So Achilles can usually have tears before the insertion into the heel, like up here. Um, or it can have pain down at the insertion level. If it's at the insertion level, it's usually at the middle third of the heel. And then if it pulls, it can cause bone marrow edema or swelling inside of the bone. How do I treat it? Well, there are a lot of treatments. I'm gonna put another video and a book here on Achilles tendonitis if you wanna learn more. But um, the, the fact is to get the bone marrow edema down, you can try to put someone in a walking boot to really reduce the stress. Uh, if that doesn't work, there is an arrow spring brace that I occasionally use for chronic Achilles tendonitis. It's called an A-E-R-O-S-P-R-I-N-G. It's an arrow spring. It's a Ritchie brace. Uh, that's basically to take the pressure off and let it recover. And then to actually change the anatomy, I like to use a shockwave. So shockwave, using focused shockwave, the, not the radio, but the focus, the focused can actually help that bone marrow edema to heal, okay? Help that to heal. These are other things that you can do um, based on what level you're at. Um, this focused actually, if it gets to a certain level, it can actually, it injures the bone and helps to heal quicker. Okay. That's what it does. The way I kind of explain shockwave is that it, it makes it feel better about 50% faster and it's about 80% effective. That's kind of how I explain shockwave. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, please check out, I'll try to put a resource here, another video that we did on, on shockwave in the past to learn more about it. You might find that beneficial, but something you could consider Once again, this is kind of more advanced. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about shockwave. Uh, here's an example of the machine. This is the radial shockwave. The other one is the focus shockwave, uh, but it is very beneficial. And it has all these things that it does, stimulate stem cells, growth factors, anti-inflammatory effect, uh, uh, mechanotransduction, and things like this, okay? Might be something you want to consider if your Achilles tendinosis is not getting better. If I can answer any of the questions, let me know. I'll certainly be happy to see you in the office if you want to, if you live in Massachusetts. Okay, thanks guys.